Mr. President, tonight in Marietta, Georgia, my hometown, there'll be a celebration that I cannot attend. It'll be a celebration to honor 50 years of medical service to our community by Dr. John D. Knox, Jr. I hate it that I can't be there because he's been an important part in my life, but I wanted to take a minute on the floor of the Senate to pay tribute to Dr. Knox and to all those physicians who deliver the health care to our people and our citizens of our state, our district, and our country. You know, as I pondered what I would say about John Knox on the floor this morning, I was sitting in my office looking at the plaques and certificates that all of us receive for various things we've done in public life. And it occurred to me, you know, when you go in a doctor's office, you'll see a diploma. You might see a Norman Rockwell painting. But really, the trophies and the tributes to doctors are people walking around with two feet around your community who've survived a terrible injury, a terrible disease, who are living a normal life because a physician and his training or her training brought them back to life or cured a terrible problem. Dr. John Knox has done that for 50 years in my community, 50 years as an orthopedic specialist and orthopedic surgeon with Resurgence Orthopedics, one of the largest orthopedic practices in the Southeast. In fact, one of those great trophies to John D. Knox Jr. is my son, Kevin, who in 1989 went through the windshield of a pickup truck on a rural road in South Georgia, double compound fracture of his lower right leg, landed in a ditch full of dirty water, and laid there for two hours before help came. Fortunately, he didn't sever an artery, but he was in bad shape. I got the call at 4 a.m. that no parent ever wants to get. The call that the paramedics had my son, they were on the interstate, did they want to take him to the Augusta Medical College or to Atlanta, Georgia for treatment because nobody in rural Georgia had the facility to treat his injuries. I immediately asked him to bring him to Marietta, Georgia, immediately asked him to bring him to Kennestone Hospital, and immediately called John D. Knox and asked him if they would meet my son at their emergency room. The next six weeks, my son had four surgeries, all delivered by John D. Knox. Had antibiotic therapy to make sure his bone marrow did not get infected for laying in the, in the ditch. For eight months, he got psychiatric and psychological help and home recovery with his wife, with his mom, myself, doctors, and those physicians recommended by John Knox. And the great story is, the night before my son was injured, he started a defensive end for Walton High School. One year later, after this terrible wreck in the recovery, he again started a defensive end for Walton High School. The miracle of medicine put my son back together. But if it wasn't for John D. Knox, my son might not be here today. So I want John D. Knox, a great doctor in Marietta, Georgia, to know that what he did in 1989 for my son and did for countless thousands of citizens of our community for years and years and years never will go unappreciated and will always be recognized. I'm glad my family was a part of his 50 years of service as a physician. God bless John D. Knox, and congratulations on your service to our great community of Cobb County, Georgia.